Hi, in this session, we will see how to upload and display the image in SV Smart Form. Also, we will see how to display the image as a background image on the page. Okay, so first we will upload the image using SC78. Transaction code to upload the image is SC78. Go to SC78, double click on bitmap image, select the color bitmap image. Here, click on import. We have to select the bitmap image. Okay, so first go to our uh, image directory from where you want to select the image. Okay, so here I have added some logo in my system in my local folder and upload the image from that folder. So, first I am selecting this image one, give the name as ZZ image one. We have to give the ID okay for each image image one give the description as image one here i have selected a color image okay press enter click on print preview we can see that image is uploaded now when we upload the image system has not asked for the request number so to add this image in a request number we have to click here on this transport icon then give the request uh, select a request number or create a new one press enter you can see the message zz image one has been included in the task now what we'll do we'll upload one more image again go here click on import select from our directory where we have Store your image. Okay, so here I'm selecting the second image. That is, give the name as set set image two. Give the name description. I'm selecting the color image. Check the print preview. Okay, now. Upload the third one. Now again in S78, I am uploading the third one. First we will upload, then we will see how to print that in the smart form. Go to smart form. Here I have uh, for background printing, I have selected one check image. It is type of check. Okay. Let's give the name as Z check. Okay. Z check. Select color bitmap image. Enter. Click on print preview. So we have uploaded this image as a check. We'll print this in the background. Okay. Now we have uploaded the image one, two, three in the system. Now we'll go for printing the smart form. Go to smart form which we have created earlier. Okay, here let me first delete existing one. Let me delete from my existing system first. Okay. Now to print the image. On the page, we have to right click, create graphic. Okay, if you select a graphic, we can see this screen on the right hand side. From here, select our image which you want to print. So we have selected as ZZ image 1. Okay, this we have added. Click on execute. You can see we have two images image 1, image 2. Select the image one here. So based on the properties, automatically system will select this color bitmap image. Seven activate. Now to test, execute the smart form. You can see the logo on the right hand side. Okay, to change the margin of the logo, like from right to left. We have the options here. Either you can select do the left margin to upper margin here, or the best option is. Go to form painter, 
drag and drop to the right hand side activate this execute now you can see the image on the right hand side now this is the static image why it is called a static image because here we have hard coded the name here we have hard coded this name zz image one now let's say this name we want to pass dynamically okay based on the if and else condition we will passing this name is dynamically for that in the global definition in the global definition first display variable uh, add a variable let's say gv underscore logo of type character 20 okay once you added the variable here go to initialize the block here in the output parameters first we have to add this variable okay this is the first one now based on our conditions suppose for the company code 1000 you want to print image 1 for company code 2000 you want to print image 2 write our if else condition and pass the required image name in the gv underscore logo okay so here what i'm doing i'm just passing here through coding z set image 1 okay set check and activate so what i've done i passes that image id in the gv underscore logo okay execute we'll see oh we are not change that in the graphics okay so in the graphics what we'll do instead of this hard code image we have to add ampersand and give our variable name so whatever the value this variable contain that image will get displayed okay activate this execute you can see the same image getting printed now let's say based on our coding based on our, our coding sent logic we are passing image 2 here okay so what we have done now the gv underscore logo we have passed image 2 now you can see the system has printed the image 2 okay so in this way what we have done first we have seen how to display a static image that is with the fixed name here and second we have seen how to print a dynamic image this means that we are passing the id of this logo dynamically now we'll see the third one okay let's say let me first comment this you want to print a background image on a page okay for printing the background image go to the page here in the background picture select our image so we have selected one uploaded one image as check that will select here now here you have the options when you want to print this background image only in the print preview or both in the print and preview first i am selecting in the print preview only now activate this execute you can see in the print preview a background image we can see above that we can write our text now click on print once you click on the print now see in the print view the image is there but in the actual printout it is blank because in the select in the setting we have selected only in the print preview okay now what we'll do we'll select print and preview both activate this it is a print view go for the printing Now you can see in the print also that image will come the so base on the setting which we have done for the background image okay it will get printed in the print view as well as both print and preview 
so in this way we finish with this session that is displaying of image is static and dynamic and also displaying the background image in the sap smart form so in this way we have finished with this session thank you